8.30 at night and I am about two seconds from going to bed because I am terribly exhausted. I've been up since 5.30 and I'm tired. Um, but I couldn't go to bed without telling you guys what we did today. Um, this is what we did. We have an incubator full of baby eggs. I'm so excited. Um, believe it or not, everybody has a home. <laughs> um, the girl who let me borrow the incubator wanted some of Trinket's babies. So Trinket and Flappy have been breeding and I have been collecting eggs. She laid six eggs in seven days. And of course I've been collecting eggs from the other chickens, um, which has not been a lot because most of them are younger than Trinket or uh, Julia. Now Julia has laid four eggs in seven days. Um, and she has bred with the white crested leg bar. If you remember right, Julia is the black copper Moran. Um, when you breed those two together, their babies are olive eggers. So we have four olive eggers that are hopefully going to hatch. Um, the neighbor brought me some eggs to eat and he also, they, all his eggs were fertile. Um, so I just kept a few that looked pretty decent. Like I thought that they might hatch very well and I kind of tossed them in there. They're just going to be like barnyard mixes. But everybody's already got homes and uh, we've had the incubator set up today. Um, to make sure that I could monitor the temperature to make sure that, there, that it didn't fluctuate any and it stayed a good, uh, stable temperature. And it has. So what we're doing um, is uh, I'm going to be hand turning them. She has an egg turner, but I'll be honest with you, I didn't feel like, I don't know, I just didn't trust it. So I decided to go ahead and do it myself. And not only that, I have a homesteading book. Um, in my homesteading book, like I list everything, like I put in there, you know, what crops work, what crops don't, um, what, what I planted and when, um, what, what I grew really well. I've wrote down every chicken I've ever bought, every duck I've ever bought, um, what day they were born, what breed they were, what gender they turned out to be, uh, what happened to them, did they live, did they die, did they lay eggs, did I sell them, did I get rid of them, whatever. So, um... Also in this book, this will be my first hatching, so I have a list of the dates that I uh, put them in the incubator, the date that they should hatch, the date, and I want to put the date they actually hatch, and then um, I have them listed 1 through 16. I have the species that I know that they are, or the breed that I know that they are, species. I'm tired. The breed that I know they are, and um, I am going to put, you know, who was fertile and who wasn't on what day. And then I'll put who hatched when. And that way I can kind of keep up and I know what I'm, I just, I just like to keep tabs on everything because I'm that way. But anyway, this is what we're doing. We're wanting to do this little project here. And a lot of you guys have been messaging me recently, um, kind of wanting to know what does the future hold for our homestead because of the whole chicken debacle. And I'll be honest with you, as of right this moment, we still have the chickens. Um, and I'm going to keep them up until I just can't anymore. And so, um... You know, it is what it is. Uh, if I have to get rid of the chickens, I'm going to see if Jason may possibly let me keep the Moran eggs and um, go to his house. He's probably about 30 miles away from me, but I'll go get, pick up some chick eggs from him and may and possibly um, hatch out chickens. And then uh, Trinket and Flappy most definitely will be staying here. And what I will do with them is I will hatch out their babies um, and when it's chick season, I will sell them. But when it's not chick season, I'll just be eating their eggs. But they're going to live in the house. So, no biggie. Uh, quail, as far as that goes, guys, I've told you that I've looked into quail. I've thought about it. It's still not off the table, but it's still not something that I'm definite about. Because um, I kind of want to let the chicken stuff settle before I decide what I'm going to do next. So that's pretty much what we're doing. That's pretty much the plan and the goals right now. And I will definitely show you guys a video of us candling the eggs at 10 days. So love you guys. Hope you have a great night, great weekend. Um, and I'll probably post a video of a uh, our afternoon chat that we always do and kind of tell you what's been going on. Love you guys. Good night.